Hello everyone, my name is Protasilaos, also known as Prot. Uh, yesterday I did a video where I talked about GNU Emacs' method of manipulating directory listings. Uh, Emacs provides a mode called uh, Directory Editor, that is its proper name, and it is abbreviated in one word as DIRED, that's how I pronounce it. Uh, and I showcased in uh, yesterday's video the basics of DIRED, and uh, some uh, ways we can uh, manipulate directory listings uh, using regular expressions, multiple cursors and uh, stuff like that. What I want to do in today's video is uh, cover some of the less known features that I didn't manage to showcase yesterday. So the first thing I want to do is switch, switch uh, to the monitor on my right where I have an Emacs window open and now I will activate screen key so from now on you will be able to see uh, the key presses that I input. So let's enter a Dired directory. The default is you press Ctrl X and then the letter D. And let's go to the default uh, Emacs directory that contains our configurations. Let's increase the font size a bit. Actually, let's decrease it a bit because of what I am about to do. And uh, this is the standard uh, interface you get with Dired. You can uh, configure the way it looks uh, by tweaking the, the, the relevant uh, variables. Um, the output of Dired is uh, basically a reformatted uh, version, a prettified version of LS. It's the standard uh, utility you find in every Unix-like Unix uh, system. We have it in GNU Linux, of course, uh, on the terminal. Anyhow, what I want to show here is that uh, apart from the standard listing of a single directory, you can also list in the same buffer the contents of a subdirectory. Yesterday what I showed is that if you want to access a subdirectory, for example, uh, we want to access the ELPA subdirectory here, you would press the return key and this would open the subdirectory, sorry, this would open the subdirectory in a new buffer and we can uh, confirm this by opening the list of buffers and we see that we have two buffers here one is for elpa and the other is for uh, .emacs.d but you can also let's switch to this one and close the buffer list you can also display subdirectories in the same buffer uh, as the parent directory the way you do that is when your point is over a subdirectory, you just press the letter I. And this uh, inserts the directory below. We can see it here. You can move using the arrow keys or N and P or standard Emacs motions. I uh, talked about this in the previous video. So this is very good. We can undo uh, the last action we performed in Dired by pressing Control and underscore. So that's control shift and uh, dash. Now what we can do is uh, I, um, other than uh, display the subdirectory using the standard switches for LS that govern uh, this presentation that we are now currently looking at, we can uh, tweak it. So let's do just that. Now in instead of pressing just I, we will press control U and then I. And this opens up the mini buffer prompt and asks us to change uh, the, to the switches that we pass to LS. Uh, so these are the ones that I am currently using, we can see here. And what I want to do is I want to make this a recursive uh, listing. So it will show me the contents of the ELPA subdirectory and all of its uh, children. So I will pass the capital R flag. I know this because I have read man ls you can read it and see about uh, all the flags that you can pass to the ls command so let's uh, let's list now elpa with these flags we see that we have the subdirectory here and let's go further below oh we see that we have now all the subdirectories of elpa listed as was our instruction that is great let's undo the action and we are back to where we were. This is very good. Uh, and this, uh, of course, this means that you can uh, perform the same actions that I demoed in the last video 
in the subdirectories as well. It, it, it makes no difference whatsoever. It, da it uh, just lists uh, more uh, content. That's great. Let's kill this buffer now. And I want to show you now how we can um, list an arbitrary number of files matching a certain regular expression in a diet buffer. So instead of listing just a specific directory or its uh, children, we can, we can produce a listing that matches a search pattern. So the way you do that is you have to invoke the command. So you pass mx and then find name di uh, diard. And what I want to do now is search inside of my website and I want to search for all uh, file names that start with 2019 then uh, contain a, a wildcard, I don't know exactly the name, and uh, end with MD. So I want to list all the markdown files that are included in the folder uh, that represents uh, my website. Let's do just that. So this will run uh, GNU find and we can see here uh, the specifics of this command. Let me increase the font size again. We can see here the specifics of this command. Uh, if you have ever used find in the terminal, uh, you will be familiar with this. I will not bother explaining it. You can read man find and then man xargs, man ls for the various um, modules that are used here. Now, let's have a look at what is going on here. We have a listing that includes all the files that match our search pattern, and we can see that the files and are included in different subdirectories. So, for example, this one is in the books subdirectory, this one is in the code log, uh, Greek, life, news, politics. So, we can see that I have produced a list with a search pattern and the list is prettified using uh, the specifics that I have passed to it. Uh, these are all uh, part of my init uh, file and that is very nice. Uh, next thing we can show, let's kill this buffer again. Um, Dyard also has the option to display images uh, but because now I am recording and my hardware is relatively underpowered I will uh, list a, um, a directory with images that contains only a few items. But of course, when you do it on your machine, you can do it with more images. So you press MX and then image and diard. And I will search for a directory. Let's search for a directory that contains, let's go to this one. It, contain, it should contain only a couple of images. So we see here, that it lists, on the one hand here, it lists the images, sorry, it lists the images, and here is a buffer that uh, shows thumbnails of the images that it has listed. And if you come here and you um, pu put them a point over an image, you can hit the return key and this will display the image, uh, sorry, it should, maybe hmm, what's happening ah okay it is loading uh, uh, this is because I am also recording and uh, my CPU is limited my hardware is limited uh, this will not look good Okay, it worked, but uh, it's uh, much slower than it would have been if I weren't uh, recording uh, you can uh, do all sorts of things with this. Let's kill this because my hardware will start complaining. Let's go again to, uh, to the standard uh, directory listing of Dyard and let's open again the Emacs, uh, the default Emacs uh, config. And let's come here. Say now I want to run diff, specifically diff mode. Uh, Emacs has a mode that uh, you can do all sorts of things with it. I will not cover that, maybe in a separate video. And let's run diff, let's come to this file here, modus operandi theme, and let's run diff on this. The way you do that is you, you press the equals sign. And now it, it asks you for a file to compare it with. So I will compare it with modus vivendi. 
So modus operandi compared with modus vivendi. And I can see here the differences between the files in, uh, in a separate buffer running diff mode. And that's another convenient uh, usage of, uh, of uh, Dired. I guess uh, that's all for now, folks. Uh, I am, uh, as I said in the previous video as well, I am new to Emacs and I am discovering uh, the potential it has, uh, the powerful features it provides. Dired is definitely uh, one of such features and I am very happy with what I am seeing here. And there is much more to learn about Dired, even though what I have covered thus far is already more than enough for your standard uh, needs. Uh, but there is more. There is, for example, an option to use grep. So instead of listing files uh, matching their file name, you could list files that contain a specific uh, search term. Maybe I will do that in another video because I have not uh, tested it thoroughly yet and I have not yet configured it to my liking. Uh, that's all for now, folks. Uh, one last thing, uh, because you might want to have a look at my configs, I will uh, just write a link here. There is also, by the way, there is also um, Emacs offers abbreviations. So in the future, I may be able to abbreviate this rather than type the whole thing. But for the time being, it's gitlab.com forward slash protesilaus, my name, that is, and then dot Emacs, dot sorry, dot emacs, gitlab.com forward slash protesilaus forward slash dot emacs. Thank you very much for your attention, folks. Uh, goodbye for now.